this is uh, my son Luke going to do a remake. All right, so what we got, uh, deer, deer come through and fired the traps on us. Fired the trap on us, so we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and uh, remake this thing real quick. Check it out, make sure everything's good. Got a little bit of deer hair there, right? <laughs> All right, so what I do, I'll clean the bed out. Make the bed good. Hole still down there. Take the trap. We'll set the trap. Might need to adjust that pan a little bit. Yeah, I think so. Get that level now. Alright, so what we got is, uh, there we go. Just a little bit is all you need. A little as much. When catching foxes. So now, as I set the trap, as you can see, perfectly the level. Hold that level there to me. See how that pan's level now? Gotcha. Alright, so, I'm going to keep my peat moss in the bed. I'm going to set the trap down in here. I'm gonna take my toilet paper. Well, notice what you did. You gave it a little twist sideways, back and yeah, forth. Yeah, well, one thing about setting traps, you wanna make sure. Bedded. Is that it's solid. Because if they come in and step and it moves, they'll get real cautious. Now, what I take is I take toilet paper, single ply, non sanded toilet paper. And the, there's two reasons for this toilet paper, folks. <laughs> one, cover the pan. Second reason is when you catch them, when they when they go to the bathroom because it, it scares the you know the gives droppings out of them it gives them something to be able to clean themselves up with so <laughs> just a little little pointer cover it like that I'll sift it over remove the grass off of it sift it over put some more in here don't be afraid to use it sift it over sift it real good. There. Find uh, your pen, right? Yeah, we'll put a little bit more. Tamp around it. All right. So what I do, uh, it's just, I take around it, make sure it all blends good. Uh, and we'll go. We'll find our pan here. There it is. I'll clean it completely off. And then what I do, and Dad does too, is we will. The reason for this is so it's solid around the trap until he steps on the only soft spot. Right there. And then what I like to do is, is pull my backing down. What the backing does, um, backing ensures that when, he, when the fox or coyote comes in, they walk around. You see where this comes down. They'll walk straight across and their uh, nature is to step in the lowest spot. That's just their what they do. Uh, sort of like to get down and get a better look in the hole. Yeah. So what we'll do, they'll walk around and boom, as soon as they step, it's right there and, and they're in trouble. Major trouble. Then we're using Legacy Canine Exciter. Fox number two or one. Best lure in the world, folks. Uh, if you haven't tried it and you're a trapper, you need to try it. It's contact Leggett's. Have him get you some and just give it a whirl. I promise you, you, you can't go wrong. You will not go wrong. www.traplaggots.com Traplaggots.com. Cannot go wrong. So what we'll do, uh, being the hole wasn't messed up, I'll, I'll just put a couple drops in here and a couple in the log. Simple as that. Another uh, thing with Leggett's, unlike other, other different bait lures and stuff, you can take this right here. Take it right in the bag with everything else you got going on. Don't have to worry about it contaminating nothing, folks. That's how it's done. In those red